It's my pleasure to be talking about the transformative power of chain fusion. What do we mean by chain fusion? Well, on ICP, canister smart contracts can sign transactions and interact in a bidirectional fashion with other chains without a single point of trust. And we call this capability the chain fusion technology. What is only four lines on this slide is actually a major technical accomplishment and also opens a lot of doors to new possibilities. And I will first now talk about these possibilities and then give you a glimpse at how this is actually made possible. So when we talk about fusion, fusion is the process where multiple elements are joined together to form a single entity. And in chain fusion, we fuse together different chains or blockchains. And that brings then both value to non-ICP chains, such as we have here Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and there's more to come. Jan mentioned there is many, many. But it also boosts the ICP ecosystem. Let's first look at what it brings to other chains. Basically, with chain fusion, you can augment smart contracts on other chains with the what we call ICP superpowers. I want to mention a few. Because, and you have heard from Björn, smart contracts on ICP can serve web assets. That allows you to build decentralized front ends for smart contracts on other blockchain using ICP technologies. Or developers can offload heavy compute or storage needs to ICP um, smart contracts without compromising on decentralization. Or you can use simple primitives on ICP, such as timers or randomness, to turn smart contracts on other blockchains truly autonomous. And on the other hand, we have the ICP ecosystem, which gets a boost from chain fusion because it attracts more users and developers. It brings more assets to the ICP ecosystem, thereby the network usage is increased. And it also, frankly, allows the ICP um, community to step out of its uh, echo chamber. So this is maybe still a bit abstract. So that's why I want to mention a few concrete, quite exciting projects. And we will have most of them actually present today and joining panels or giving speeches. I start with Helix Markets. That's a decentralized exchange. We will have Goratz joining a panel in the afternoon. Goratz is from that team. Then I want to mention Aureli, which is a purely on-chain oracle, which makes heavy use of HTTP out calls, which is a key building block of chain fusion technology. We have the Talodao team uh, that is launching a Bitcoin-backed stablecoin this week. Enzo from that team sitting somewhere back there and joining the next panel. And we have, oh, I see that's actually an old slide. Um, could you maybe exchange it? Because also the animation later will not work otherwise. But I, I keep talking. We have from the Definity team two um, uh, frameworks that we have been working on. One is the OISI wallet, which is an in-browser uh, wallet that allows you to hold access in a self-custodial way without the need of any uh, plugins. And we have Orbit as a multi-custody asset framework. The first concrete product built on this is a treasury management system that allows or gives you the security that you may know from Fireblocks without the quite excessive cost of Fireblocks. And there was one other uh, item on this slide, which is now unfortunately not there, which is Chain, chain Key Exchange, which is a neo bank where also the founder and contributor will be joining the next panel. So this brings me to the stack. How is this even made possible? And I mentioned earlier, there's two key components. One is the signing. We have already heard from Björn about threshold key protocols. And that's actually what's used here. Initially, we built the ECDSA signature scheme in a threshold fashion. That allows to sign transactions without a single node on ICP ever holding the entire key. 
And then we have the integration layer that interacts with other chains. Here we distinguish two uh, approaches. One is what we call the direct integration. So the, we distinguish these two integration layer, these two integration approaches. One is the direct integration. Here we run nodes of the other chain on ICP nodes. And this is, for example, what we use for the Bitcoin integration, where Bitcoin nodes are actually run alongside ICP nodes. The other integration approach is called decentralized RPC integration. Here, ICP nodes make calls to multiple RCP Exactly. So that's the second one. Make decentralized uh, calls to RPC providers that then call out to the network we integrate with. And now that we have this key management and signing capability and integration, you can fuse this together with the ordinary yet really impressive capabilities of ICP, such as compute, randomness, outcalls, etc., that then gives you the power to build solutions such as the Talodao protocol, which we will hear more about, or the chain key exchange. I'll talk about the next two boxes in a moment. Because let's look at the history. It's a day of celebration. It's an uh, anniversary. So we started with all of this work, not only a few weeks ago when we started using the term chain fusion. The work actually started around Genesis. So three years ago, we first worked on threshold signing, threshold ECDSA, and the Bitcoin integration. This was launched in summer 2022. And then we realized that while even though smart contracts could now hold Bitcoin, you were still stuck with the slow finality and the extreme uh, expensive transaction costs, which then resulted in the birth of CKBTC, which is a twin of the Bitcoin token on ICP with the transaction speed and the transaction costs that you know from ICP. This journey continued with the launch of CK Ethereum or CK ETH, a twin of the Ethereum token, which was launched in December last year. And today, we are very happy to also celebrate the birth of CK ERC20 tokens. The first one is CK USDT, which is obviously a very well-known stablecoin, and this has been missing on the ICP ecosystem. And this is what the uh, so-called Tritium milestone will bring us. So let me say a few more words about the milestone. We have this CK ERC20 tokens which will bring fast and uh, low cost access to a huge wealth of tokens. And what a detail that I want to mention here is, in contrast to most other chains, you can now transact these tokens without the need of an additional gas or another token. You can actually pay for transactions using the token itself. So you can pay in CKUSDC to make a CKUSDC transaction, which is a major uh, improvement in terms of convenience. There's already a many projects that have adopted this. There will be more to come. And on the other hand, the EVM RPC canister, which allows this uh, decentralized RPC integration, will be put under NNS control and is thereby ready for prime time. So you can see that today is not only celebrating three years of ICP, but also a major milestone in chain fusion. And uh, I would like to ask a few colleagues who have worked on this to join me on stage for a picture so that we can also celebrate this milestone. And I wish you all a great uh, third anniversary. I'm very happy to be part of this roller coaster and team. Have a nice birthday party. Thank you. Thank you.